Hello, and welcome to Pizza John Productions. Please take your seat, and the bar will automatically lower when all guests are seated. Please keep your arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times. Eat a slice of pizza and enjoy your ride. Like and subscribe, baby. Welcome back to Pizza John Productions. Have you ever had the thought, like, if jobs were like, major league sports like professional sports like there was like different leagues and levels you could be with different jobs and you were trained up and promoted and stuff well i was thinking about that and for for people that run like carnival rides i think professionally they want to be known as amusement ride operators so i decided that I wanted to do a tier list of them and place them into baseball leagues or divisions or something. So let's get to it. All right. So the first group is the local attraction ride operator, AKA the zoo crew. Have you ever been to the zoo and saw that they had a carousel or some other little ride and said, wow, I want to ride that. Well, me too. However, the ride is something that the zoo has to get a couple bucks out of you. And it's not really like, oh, I went to the carousel place and they happen to have a zoo there. I'm going to go to the zoo, too. It's, it's always it's going to be second, third, fourth, fifth fiddle to the main attraction. And you don't go into the carousel business at the zoo if you want to be a, a big league amusement ride operator it's just not what's done so there's not much opportunity to advance so that's why i'm placing them as the amateurs our next level of of amusement ride operator is the local fun park in my local area there's this place called thunderwood thunderland and it just has a bunch of little kitty rides and, you know, this person's a local yokel. They operate the rides at the park and they, they stay put. They don't really travel like carnies do, as we'll see. But they still get to hone their craft. They get to work every day on their little rides for those little kids. There's really, there's less opportunity to be seen since there's, there's not a lot of you know, it's not high, high exposure. You still got your chance of, of moving up since there's one key piece that a lot of these local, local fun parks have, and it's the dragon coaster. The dragon coaster is essential for a amusement ride operator to, to be called up to the next level. You can't really, how can you expect to be a professional ride operator if you don't have that roller coaster experience? And that's what the Dragon Ride gives. It's portable, it's little, but it still gives you that, that roller coaster experience that you need. So that's why these people, they're single A. They're single A ride operators. And the next group of people are the carnies, you know, the, the people who work for traveling fairs. They're the bread and butter of this industry. They're in it for the love of the game. Because how else could you stand traveling almost all year, operating rides around the country, traveling from empty fairground to empty parking lot to empty field? They go wherever they're called and then do it with a smile on their face. They're always grinding and honing their craft. Their one disadvantage is they're always moving. So it's hard for, for scouts to, to see their skill over and over. But there's one thing you can know is carnies are always working hard and trying to be the best they can. And another key thing is they, they have access to dragon coasters. To, that's the essential key for their development as amusement ride operators. 
And they also have some other smaller rides like teacups that really help help them move on up. So that's why they're getting placed as double A. And our next group of people are regional theme park amusement ride operators. Now these are the people who they're finally gotten into the bigger league. We're talking about Cedar Point in Ohio, Knott's Berry Farm in Southern California, and Lagoon in Utah. These places are operating full-on rides. Some are even more intense, intense than anything that the big boys even offer. But they don't have the same brand power behind them like Disney or Universal. This is where amusement ride operators continue to hone their craft and bide their time patiently as they wait to be called up since they can do whatever the big boys can do but they just don't have that big boy recognition that's why they're in the triple a section they're almost they're almost at the major leagues but they're just not there our next next group of ride operators are the ones who work at the the foreign parks like Disneyland, France, Japan, China, Universal China, Singapore. They're, they're the foreign big boys, you could say. This is the place where the big leaguers stash their foreign talent. It's an essential, it's an essential part of their farm system for amusement ride operators. You can't rely on just America to have all the talent that it takes to run so many great parks. And one thing to note is if you go from a regional theme park to one of these foreign Disneys, say Disneyland Japan, Sea Disney, it's more of a lateral move than, say, a promotion. But one advantage is you're in the system. So that's always a good thing. So that's why they're being placed as AAA. And the last group, they're the Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studios, Florida, and LA amusement ride operators. I'll just go ahead and put them in the major leagues. The major leagues. These are the amusement ride operators everyone wants to be. They get the glitz and the glam of being the best of the best and operating some of the most sought after rides in the whole world. These are the professional athletes of the ride operators. They get the money, they get the fame, they get the, the, the name recognition of being Disney, Universal. They got it all. They're who even I want to be. So that's why they're the major leaguers. So this is all just a theory that I've just came up with. I have no idea if this is real or not. I've never been a amusement ride operator and I don't think I ever will be, but it's just something I've, I've been thinking about and I wanted to get down on paper and I'm going to be going to a, a traveling fair soon. So maybe I can get a talk to a carny, see what's up, see, see like what it's like, see if their life is anything like I uh, described. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see, you know, this was just for fun. And I want to thank all the amusement ride operators out there. And if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments and like, and subscribe, baby.